Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you today. We got a 1972 Chevelle with a numbers matching 402 under the hood. Let's take a look at this baby. Look at that, man. Black is beautiful, and when they put those white stripes on it, it just looks killer. We got great looking chrome on that front bumper. That grill's in beautiful shape. I mean, everything about this car just looks awesome, man. As you look down the side, she is straight as can be. It's got some Resto Mod uh, wheels and tires. I believe those are 18s on there. Looking good. She is one beautiful car. Now, everybody knows if you're going to paint a car black, you better be a good body man. And I tell you, they did a beautiful job on the body work on this car. Look at those reflections. Looks just like a mirror. Now, take a look here. Look at this interior, man. White interior, looking sweet. We got great looking carpeting, center console with the staple shifter, great looking upholstery on the seats. Beautiful. Absolutely great. Uh, I can't talk. Beautiful. Now we send an instruction sheet with every car. So it's got special starting instructions and tells you where everything is. And the back seat looks good. The package tray looks good. The headliner's looking sweet. The dome light's working. We got a great looking dash in this baby too. You can see all the chrome on the dash is looking good. All the lenses are looking great. Now we got an aftermarket radio mounted underneath the dash and the stock radio is in the dash in its proper place. Look down that quarter panel, looks great. I can see the Vanguard emblem right there in the roof looking good. You can see that the chrome on the back side also looks good. And of course the stripes coming out back looking sweet. Get in the trunk here. You always want to look in this trunk. Now we got the sniper um, set up here. This is the box for it. It's actually got it on there and I believe there's probably a car cover in here if I had to guess. That's normally what's in these. Yeah, it looks like a car cover in there. Always look at the floor too. See how nice that floor is under there? Got to make sure you look at the floor. We got a um, good looking spare in there. Looks like the jack is in there also. We got good looking paint on the bottom side of the deck lid. Also, make sure you always check this bottom lip back here on every car you buy. You can see the lip here looks good. The gutter system looks great. The rubber's been replaced. As you look down the side of the car, you can see that this passenger side's just as beautiful as the other side. So call Tom anytime at 248 974 9513. So let's get out and drive this baby. Let's take this Chevelle for a ride. Tell you what, she sounds amazing. Just love the rumble of the exhaust. Nothing sounds like a big block Chevy, baby. This thing's got sniper fuel injection on it. Driving smooth as can be. Where do you want to go? Let's go for a ride. Let's go to a car show. Let's go win some trophies, some ribbons. You may have to build a shelf in your garage for all the trophies and ribbons you're going to win with this baby. One beautiful machine right here. Driving amazing. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can make it really easy for you to park this dream in your driveway. We handle the shipping. Tommy can hook you up with a banker. We can do all that right on the phone and we can park this dream in your driveway. She is one sweet automobile. I just love that rumble, man. Just sounding amazing. So we're going to get around the corner up here. We're going to take a nice close look at this dash. And I tell you what, it looks like 1972 right here on the dash. Looks like it's all brand new right here. You can see that all the chrome here on the dash looks good. The lenses look good. The faces, the gauges look good. The dash pad itself looks great. The steering wheel looks like it's brand new. Got a big pothole up here somewhere. We're gonna make sure I don't hit that baby. Yep, there she is. 
right around it. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're close to the airport. If you'd like to come check this baby out in person and you need to fly, no problem whatsoever. If you need us to pick you up from the airport, we'll do that too. And if you see one of us at a car show, come on up. We'd love to meet you. We'd love to meet all of our fans. This baby's got tilt column too. So you want to drive a bus? You want to lay it down in your lap? Everything you want to see right here. Now it does have the two radios in it. I don't think the AM radio, that's the original radio, is even hooked up. And it's got an aftermarket Kenwood under the dash. And then I know there's all kinds of upgrades from there now too. Right now, we're about to do something nobody else does to every car in their inventory. At Vanguard, every car goes up on the left. That way we can show you just how beautiful the bottom side is too. We're gonna pull this baby in the shop right now and show you the bottom, so stick with us. All right, we're underneath this baby now and man, is she clean. Look at this, it's got a brand new tank, looks like new stripes, we got brand new exhaust. The uh, trunk floor looks real good. I always look at the trunk floor on every car. Um, you can see it's got new Bilstein shocks on it. It uh, looks like the sway bar's new. The hardware's definitely new. Those lower control arms also look like the bushings have been replaced. The springs look like they're new. I mean, everything under here is clean as can be. Now, they've used these real nice hangers that I just love to uh, hang the exhaust system. You can see it's got Flowmaster looking mufflers. I don't see Flowmaster on there. They use these nice band clamps, so if you want to pull it apart at any point, you can. Now, back here, or up here, I should say, this looks like stainless to me. It's been all TIG welded together. We got an X pipe here. Drive shafts all painted up, looking good. We do have the numbers matching Turbo 400 Trans. That's a three speed automatic for those of you who don't know. Um, everything under here is looking good. We got a O2 sensor mounted over here because this thing's got EFI on it. That's electronic fuel injection. Uh, looks like the shocks up front here are fairly new. We got disc brakes up front. And then on the back, all the brakes will come apart, make sure they're in good working order. We've got new ball joints up front, sway bar up front here. All the bushings look like they're new. Idler arm looks like it's new. Bottom side of the core support looks good. Again, you got to look at these core supports on every car and look at the front frame horns to make sure they're nice and straight. You can see that the uh, back side of the bumper is just as clean as the front side. Definitely new back bumper. Um, you can see that the wheel lip moldings look good. And then we've got these American Racing Torque Thrust all aluminum rims. Uh, and let's see if I can find a size on this BFG. There it is. Get it around here right side up. 225, 45, 18s on those. And then working your way down the rocker and the frame there. It is just beautiful. That pinch weld looks good. I always run my hand on the back side of the rocker, make sure nothing's going on there. This is all just nice and smooth. Always look at the dog leg in the frame here too. Again, shit gets up in that hole right there and uh, is hard on the frame. We got uh, same good looking uh, wheels back here, but I think there's more rubber back here. 275, 40, 18s out back. And again, the wheel lip moldings and the wheel wells are looking sweet. Well, let's lower this baby down and take a look at that numbers matching 402 under the hood. All right, we're under the hood now, and this baby's got the original big block in her. 402, numbers matching. It's got a sniper EFI setup on it. That's electronic fuel injection. You can see that the Edelbrock intake's sitting on there. The, it's aluminum. The valve covers are all chromed up, looking good. The AC box is looking sweet. All the lines look good. Got GM markings on all the lines. All the aluminum there looking sweet. It has been changed over to 134. Uh, we've got an uh, alternator here. It looks like it's a rebuilt unit. You can see they've used all the correct clamps and the GM hoses over here for the bypass hose and the heater hoses. It's got a stock appearing uh, AC compressor on it also. The inner wheelhouses are nicely painted. Power booster on the brakes, so it's got power brakes. You can see the uh, power steering pump down here, so she's got power steering. Uh, we got two big electric fans sitting here. They, I tell you what, they did a nice job with that unit because you know what? They look like they belong there. I mean, everything under here is nice and clean. The firewall's nice and clean. All the wiring's nice and clean. 
Um, the whole core support area here is nice and clean. They had a nice touch here. They uh, sprayed this to make it look like bare metal. That's the hood latch there. Bottom side of the hood sprayed with chassis black just like in the factory. Looks like they also painted the uh, hood hinges with some uh, paint that looks like uh, bare metal. They also did that to the power booster. Guys, this is one sweet Chevelle right here. Numbers matching 402, numbers matching transmission, the correct rear end in it. She's black, she's beautiful. Give us a call, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.